Hi loves, how are you? It's Miss Shonda here. You are officially entered into the pink room with Shonda Says. How are you? I know that you miss me and I've missed you too. How have you been? Uh, tonight's topic is all about passion. Um, the last time I was here, I introduced um, a little piece of what um, keeping passion in your relationships could uh, it can be enhanced by, I know that video was a bit wild, a lot of you guys didn't see that coming, but you guys know how I am. I discuss things that most people probably would be a little um, shy about speaking about, but that's not your girl. So tonight, passion is the subject. How many of you that are in marriages and relationships feel that your relationship and marriage involves a lot of passion. And when I say passion, I mean that overwhelming feeling of needing and wanting a person uh, almost to a point where you have to have them and you thinking about them. And when you kiss, there's this fire and there's just this, you know, undeniable need and want for this other person. I had the pleasure of writing an article about passion on digitalromanceinc.com. I'm going to uh, have the link to that in the notes below, and hopefully you get to go on and you uh, read the article. But it meant so much to, to me to write this article because to share um, myself with you guys, I've always been a very passionate woman to the point that I think that oftentimes it didn't, the passion that I gave out, it didn't, I didn't get that back. And oftentimes it made me feel um, not less than, but it would take the wind out of my sails in terms of my feelings and my emotions because I am such a fireball when it comes to love and intimacy and my man. And um, I just feel like as a woman... For myself, I've always felt that that's a part of my relationship that I did not want to have to give up or compromise. And so often we are told that passion dies and that, you know, comfortability sets in. And I spoke about this and I said, you know what? Comfortability is great. You know, there's nothing more uh, soothing and comforting than being able to be with someone and be yourself and, you know, let your hair down and just look normal. But I also feel like passion is not something that we should have to um, compromise or, or, or something that we should live without. I know that for me, I'm one of those kind of people that want my relationship to consistently stay in the honeymoon phase. And is that even feasible? I would hope so. And I think that a huge part of that is just effort. It's just effort. It's making an effort that this person in your life is someone that, you know, that you stay passionate about and that you stay fiery about and not just in arguments. You know, those arguments can get very passionate <laughs> and very fiery, but just the ideal of you know, like I'm big on tongue kissing, like and if you really think about it, if you think about kissing in general, when you first get with your man or your woman in the early part, you kiss a lot. Like, because that passion is there. And if you've been in a long-term relationship or marriage, answer this for me. When was the last time you had a nice tongue kiss? Does it happen anymore like it used to? Um, when was the last time you just had spontaneous sex? Have you had sex in a car or in a in a daring place? Have you, you know, texted nudes in a while? Have you done something crazy in your marriage or long-term relationship that's just that helps to ignite that fire? And I just believe as a person it's really good to to be able to keep those things alive and keep them going and you know, listen, Kids, career, finances, um, 
even derision within your own relationship can dissipate passion. But I think that if you both can come to a comfortable place of communication about your personal lives outside of the kids, the, the money and everything, you know, it's important to keep that alive and to keep it, um, to keep the flames going and not let them burn out to embers because life can get in the way and, and it, it surely does. But again, I just feel like I'm one of those people that I want to share with you how important it is to keep your love lives as important as your children, as important as your bills, your mortgages, your car payments, all those things. Because without the humanness of love and kindness and reciprocity in love, what's it all for? And it's boring as hell. Like, that's one thing about me I hate being bored, especially in my relationships. I love mental stimulation. I love my mind made love to as much as my body. And that's a part of passion too, just, you know, manipulating the mind as much as the body. I mean, to me, I mean, you can't get any better than that. It's the best of both worlds. And with time, yeah, we get comfortable and we get sedated with love. But every so often we need that, you know, we need that passion and we need that fire. And let me tell you, communication is a huge part. I do not hesitate to tell my man how much I love him, what I love about his intimate parts. I say it all the time. You know, I grab him all the time. We kiss all the time. You know, it's. Again, reciprocity is not just one-sided. It's not just me. It's the it's both of us making an effort to keep the flame alive and to keep that passion between us. And you know what? That has nothing to do with kids or family or anyone else. That's just that's what I love about passion, I think. I think that's the part that I love so much. That's just my connection with my partner that no one else can have. That no one else I share that with. Just him. And there's just something really beautiful and special about that. Now, I'm going to segue into uh, the next topic I want to talk about. And I really, um, I really want to take the time and really dissect and peel back the onion on this subject. And it's all about, I hate this word, but I'm going to use it because it's pop culture, but the side chick. And I just feel like I want to do a video, a vlog on the, the absence of family and the absence of love between two people and how a third person can come in and destroy that. And why is it so prevalent? And why is it okay? You know, now there's songs about it. So, you know, tomorrow I'll be back. Let's talk about the side chick thing, you know. Two's company, three's a crowd. We'll talk about it. But I love you guys. Make sure that you check me out in my article. Um, again, I'll keep the, I'll have the link in, um, in the description. And um, I love you guys. I missed you. Did you miss me? I know you missed me. I know you missed me. And I know that um, I need to stay in touch. And also, too, um, I am in this month's issue and also the 10-year anniversary issue of Straight Stunt Magazine. Yes, my Shonda says article in the pink room. I will be in those issues. And um, Straight Stunt Magazine, if you do not know, is a magazine dedicated to beautiful, beautiful, sexy women. Um, and just the curves... <laughs> of beautiful women and music and culture. Uh, that's DJ K Slay's um, magazine, and he's been the helm. Of, he's been at the helm of that magazine, the CEO of that magazine, for ten years, and it's still in print. And it's still going strong, and I'm so proud to be a contributor to Straight Stun. So you get the opportunity, pick up that issue, and um, I'll send the link to that as well. I love you guys, and we'll talk soon. Bye bye.